Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is a project I was working on for the Auto Union car, uh, which some of you might remember from uh, Forza 2. Well, here is a uh, 1937 D-Type Auto Union. I believe it's on the Nürburgring. Uh, what you're looking at now is what I replicated in Forza. That's the image inside the game. And what you're looking at now is the source photo. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of color in the source photo, but it looks like it's mainly just because it's faded and yellowed. Uh, but, I mean, you can tell it's pretty close, for the most part. Some of the shading's a little bit off, you know, a couple other things, but for the most part, pretty damn close. So, here's how I did this. I'm going to ungroup this real quick. Group. As you can see, there's a bunch of different shapes. Uh, yeah, it says I took up uh, 464 layers, so not exactly the uh, easiest thing. Okay, looks like I got everything ungrouped. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the very end of it and start taking layers away from it so you can see uh, what I used to make every uh, feature of the car. And I guess I'll do it with the border too. So, I guess I'm going to work on the background first. Okay, so that's the majority of the trees. Now it's just the roadway and the fence behind in the distance. As you can see, a lot of uh, paint splatter decals to make the road look texturized. Some shadows. Okay, and now we are left with the car itself. Uh, this is probably one of the most layer consu consuming cars I've ever drawn. It has a lot of detail. so. And as you can see, the wheels have a lot of detail in them. Each one of the spokes is a single layer. And we're just with the background framing that I put around the image itself. So there you go. That is how I uh, painted the Auto Union D-Type race car.